every head program was here trying to recruit him. So Coach Conley does a lot to get not only him, but any athlete on our team, he's trying to get them cleared through the NCAA Clearinghouse so they can be NCAA eligible to play college sports. And that's a process in itself. You know, it's not like it used to be where we could just play football and then somebody say, okay, we're going to give you a scholarship now. You have to, the SAT, ACT scores have to be up. You have to be clearinghouse eligible, which means your curriculum while you're actually going to school here has to be NCAA eligible. It's a way lot more. It's a lot more. Right. He's right. probably like they used to, huh? Right. What does uh, Conley teach? He's a Spanish and, I believe, history teacher. He's fluent in Spanish. He takes. He actually takes. He does a trip every year over to Spain with a bunch yes. of students. Wow! Yeah. Nice. So he, he does a lot. He does a lot. Yes. yes. portion of that corner as you're coming from Old House. You come down and you bend the corner. You had Mr. Brooms here, uh, the auto shop right there in the corner. All that was taken out and they built the field house. They got a track up there? This is an indoor track, yes. Fully functional. And they also have a weight room over here. But if you want to take a peek in there, we have a full weight room. They just uh, Changed the logo not too long ago.
Students from all basketball, football, soccer. The weight room. Oh wow, that's major. Shops, the classroom, the orthopedic shop. All that was just back here. They expanded, they knocked all that out, expanded, built outwards, and that's where the field house comes into effect. And if you want to take a look here on the wall, they started a legacy program here in Southfield, too, where they honor all the Southfield legacy legends. You got a uh, hang up on the wall. I don't think Torrance up there, actually. You got a uh, beans up there. Who's still here? Who is actually down here? Very in the hall. I'm at least, at least so. I think I'm going to be a killer. He's going to be hitting the whole life. Yeah. 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 Bean on that. Bean. Uh, he's 
still married to Tracy? Uh, that's a good question. Plus, they've been going there. So, Tony was going there. Like a legacy display that's going to be towards the front of the school. Where you can actually see it from outside. Of the All right, folks, now. Yeah, this is a picture. Actually, this picture, I believe. Mr. Eshman took that up. Really? This is actually 88. Yeah, because Ron graduated 88. Ron graduated 88. Yeah. But still up there. Bobby was there last night? Yeah, he was there. Wow. Wow. Yeah, he was there. 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 Y'all yeah, remember this hallway? This used to be the hallway. Yeah. Oh. Here's the old gym right here. This is our old gym. Yes. Okay, we're about to go back in time. We're about to go back in time, y'all. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right here. This is our gym. Oh, my God. This is our gym. This is crazy. Yeah. Old gym is still here. No air. No air. It's all deal. Yes. You funny. This is our gym. Damn, I just thought we'd come and look at the other one. What they did is they took down some of the stands up there they used the used top for batting practice. Uh, this side they used all wrestling, wrestling team uses that side. And they actually have, um, when you've got JV varsity freshmen, a lot of times you can't fit everybody in the same gym, you can't schedule them. so. Actually having two gyms comes in handy. You can have some of the freshman games in here still. Um, you can have some of the varsity, uh, excuse me, the JV games in here also if you need to. And then because they run some of these sports concurrently like uh, volleyball, and girls basketball, they can switch between both. Mm -hmm. but yeah, records are still up. Uh, we still play the same teams, like the same general teams? Actually, no. We play a lot of different times. SMA, we used to do SMA. Rick Dunk. Yeah. Yeah. SMA. So it's between a bunch of different schools. Oh, It's mainly West Bloomfield, Dennis Bainfield, 1980. And North Carolina Foster. They're now North Carolina. Earl's brother. Kimbo. We played Berkeley um, a few years back, but that's because we saw them in, in the playoffs. Ferndale. Basketball, we play a little bit differently. They play a lot of stuff. They turned it up. They changed it. They played everybody. Yeah, I remember Kimbo. It was very racist. That's why I'm yeah. Here. You said, uh, did you say Athens has to stay down as far as I can know? Yeah, there's not, I don't think they have enough kids to feel all teams. I think they've got just a junior varsity and varsity sports. Oh, really? Yeah. I did. I'm talking about my idea. This is Troy and Troy. Mm hmm. Oh. Athens, um, Avondale, all those just kind of like. I think it's the people who even stay. Statewide, yeah. It's the problem, statewide. <laughs>